doing the exercises. You do the exercises in sections for the number of practice days stated at each section, except if you find it necessary to skip an exercise due to pain, as stated earlier. You begin each practice session with Unit 1, Part 1, and finish each practice session with Unit 1, Part 2. Here's a summary of the regimen. The Tongue Mudra. The Tongue Mudra is an evolved form of an ancient yogic technique. It involves positioning the tongue and lower jaw in a particular way, along with special breathing. This positioning creates internal feeling connections that cause spontaneous self-corrections of tension, feeling, and posture. It may seem odd that positioning the tongue in some way can cause these effects, but cause them it does. And I have often felt the effects all the way down into my sacrum as changes of tension and position. It's the first thing you should learn in the regimen. You can do the exercises in this regimen without the tongue mudra and get good results. But the results occur much more quickly if you use the tongue mudra during or immediately after practicing. There is an exception. The somatic education exercises that involve the jaws, unit two, section F. It's rather impossible to do both the jaw exercises and the tongue mudra at the same time. So you follow that exercise with the tongue mudra. Self-assessment. You determine your own sacral position before each practice session. People's sacrum changes position, and you may want to make sure you're doing the exercises for the correct side. A video tutorial provides instructions. Unit 1, Preparation. You do Unit 1 for seven practice sessions or so until you have memorized the movements. Unit 1 is preparation for Unit 2, and you do a short version of Unit 1, fewer repetitions, with each practice session of Unit 2. You finish each Unit 2 section with Unit 1, Part 2, and a brief walk to integrate the changes. Unit 2 self-corrections and integrations. You do unit two in the forward order, A through F, and then in reverse order, F through A, back and forth. You do unit two until you are feeling much better and have difficulty determining which side of your sacrum is jammed deeper. Only then do you proceed to unit three. Unit 3, Polishing and Consolidating the Results. Unit 3 consists of integration exercises that put you together as a whole. The difference between these integration exercises and those in Unit 2 is that those in Unit 2 put together the effects of the exercises that immediately preceded the integration exercises and that follow them, whereas Unit 3 puts you together as a whole. How much to do? Once you know the Unit 1 exercises, most practice sessions take about a half hour to three quarters of an hour. Some take less, some take more. Working from the video tutorials takes longer. When you know the exercises, practice takes less time. For time convenience, you may divide sessions into two practice sessions daily, morning and evening, with one exercise per practice session. Although for comfort, I recommend that you do both exercises in one practice session. You may also practice an entire section twice daily to speed progress. Adjust practice amount to tolerance. Too little is better than too much. Too much and the results of the exercise you did get too far ahead 
of the results of the others, which may lead to a rebound effect or to unnecessary discomfort in the regions not yet done. If you do the unit two exercises just before sleep, you may do unit one, part two, including the walk in the mornings. 